Hello my friend, Dr. Daniel Daves here and I'm coming to you from our prototype farm in Cherokee, Panama today. I wanted to take just a moment if you have a couple minutes of time. You know, the way the news and the information, the internet highway and all of the data comes to us, good news, mostly bad news, bad news, bad news. It can be absolutely overwhelming. There's been times in my life where I've just seen so much, I just say, make it stop. I just need to focus on what God's called me to do and let me the be, be the very best at it. But you know, I want, to, I want to talk to you privately, personally, not on a level of mass news, a lot of hype, a lot of crazy, crazy stuff going on, you and me. And I want to talk about the Bahamas for just a second. Seven weeks ago, I was there with the Global Food Revolution. I was working with the pastors. They were making commitments, even on the Abaco Islands, which are now destroyed. They were making the commitments to uh, farm superfoods super fast. They knew that they were exposed. The people in the Bahamas knew they were in trouble. The last hurricane left them without food and water and help for over two weeks. Wow. People were rebuilding the deep water ports and the airports. Well, they made the decision, we're going for it, we're going to do it. And then here came the monster hurricane. 185 mile an hour winds, 225 peak. Two days, it just stopped and whipped and whipped, as you know. Uh, the stories and reports coming out, it's all over the internet, all over the news. I don't recommend you go out there. You don't have to. But here's what I want to talk to you about. These guys are our brothers and sisters. I mean, they're just next door. They're closer than Cuba is to us. I heard one lady crying in desperation this morning on the video. She said, you guys all come to us when you want to go on vacation and you enjoy us and you enjoy our stuff. But when we're hurting and we're, when it's all gone, you're nowhere to be found. Help, we need help. Oh, I heard that and my heart just broke. I thought, you know, these people serve and serve and serve. That's why the Bahamas, it's so beautiful and such a great vacation resort island because the people of the Bahamas are servants and the servants have been wiped out and so I wanted to just talk to you briefly about a global food revolution and a revolution that can start right in your home in your community in your church at your work and at your city it can start at any level that you would like it to start but let's talk for just a moment. Look at this pallet. I'm going to give you the dimensions here. This pallet is 40 inches by 48 inches. And this pallet can hold up to four, five, or six feet high worth of materials, depending on how tight you pack it and wrap it up and all of that. You know, when I see these people, they've lost everything. 35,000 people in the Bahamas have lost it all. I mean, houses are gone, roofs gone, furniture, pots, pans, silverware, it's gone. And uh, so I think, I look around in my garage, I look around in my stuff and, and uh, I see I got enough stuff that I don't use, I could fill a pallet. Now some people aren't like me, I'm a pat rat, a pat rack, a rat packer. <laughs> Is that it? A pack rat, that's it. <laughs> And, uh, and, you know, with the stuff I've got extra, I can fill a pallet. And I want to tell you, I'm filling pallets. And we're going to fill pallets, and we're going to fill containers. There's good news. We have gotten free shipping available to us from Miami to the Bahamas. They said, bring it. You bring it, we ship it. I've got the pastors. They've lost, many of them lost their church buildings. They've lost their homes. But they're focusing on the communities. And they're saying, if you can help us get some resources, we're focusing on the communities to help restructure, rebuild, and grief counsel those that have lost so many family members, and so many neighbors. They're just gone. And the Abaco Islands, thousands, thousands are gone. And they're going to upgrade the mortality rate as soon as they count more of the bodies, get them buried. But what I'm thinking is, this is garage sale season. Could you imagine putting the equivalent of a garage sale on a pallet and sending it to them. Now I've already had people write into me and say, this will never work. This is a bad way to do it. You don't want to give them a 
waffle maker, you want to give them bottled water. I can't get bottled water to them. I don't have it. And I can't get them waffles. And I can't get them uh, sack lunch today. But in the next few weeks, we can roll in with tables, chairs, pots, pans, cups, spoons, forks, and knives. We can come in with a chair and with a, with a bed, with a, a dresser, with maybe some nice clothing. We can bring them in the supplies that they're going to need to regroup and rebuild. You know, if I had lost everything, I could give two hoots if you're bringing me a used table or a new table. I need a table. My family needs a table. And so I'm thinking, how about you and I, let's team up wherever you're at and let's make a commitment, maybe you and your family, and, and get the families in your neighborhood together. Let's put a pallet together. Let's figure a way to get it to Miami. Maybe we can get a trucking line that'll ship it down free because a lot of people are giving a lot right now into this disaster relief. If we could get that pallet of yours to the Bahamas, we could start a revolution. It will be the beginning of your entrance into the Bahamas to help a people that are devastated and wiped out and bring the blessing of God on them and upon your life. You know, I think about Jesus said, if you have a faith as a grain of a mustard seed, just a little tiny seed, you can grow into a large tree and others will take nest and take up house in your faith, your tree of faith. I'll tell you, for me, filling a pallet is not rocket science and it's not... Um, it's not going to take mustard seed faith. It's not everything I can got, get to, to put this pallet together. For some, it might be. But for me, I need to step out and say, let's get a community and put a container together. Let's put 20 pallets on a 40-foot container. Or like, I think maybe it's, uh, I think it's 26 pallets on a 52-foot container. Or a 20-foot container, we can get 10 pallets, 40 inches by 48 by five or six feet tall. Would you join me and maybe put some boxes of stuff together instead of having that garage sale and taking all that time just for a few pennies on the dollar? I tell you, you know, you, you, you sell $10 worth of plates for a buck at a garage sale, but those plates are worth $50 in the Bahamas right now. I mean, when you don't have them, what are they worth? So I want to challenge you today. Let's put pallets together. And let's do it in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, and let's make a difference. Pallets, pallets full of stuff, maybe drills and tools, building supplies, maybe some nails, screws, maybe uh, some kitchenware, some utensils. They're all on 110 volt over there. If you got a got a toaster oven, then let's do it. Let's do it. So I want to thank you for anything you can do. If you are a church leader, if you're a business leader, if you are someone, come here girls, come here, come here, come here. If you are someone who loves children and loves people, come here, come over here. The girls just got in here from the farm. Come here, come on. And these girls are so lovely. They just got back from school. These are the kind of people that we're talking about helping, you know, those uh, there's no, no shoes on the feet here, um, but we love them and they need help. Can you imagine having these girls in the Bahamas right now with nothing? I just can't imagine it. I'll tell you what, if I was over there right now, I'd be begging to God to send someone with a heart. But we are those people with a heart and we're going to help some people in the Bahamas. All right, girls. Good day at school. Buenos dias at escuela. Si. Mucho educación. The cabeza es bueno. <laughs> oh, tarea. oh, sí. Bueno. Bueno. All right. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you. You get a hold of me if you're ready. Let's put a pallet together in your community and let's get it to the Bahamas. It'll be the beginning of something wonderful and miraculous. God bless you.